Mm. What surprised you about that? What was different about it than perhaps you thought it would be? Given that it's basically a culture that's pretty much intact for the last 1,200 years, which is taking out of modern life what is convenient and useful and still maintaining the traditional ways. Yeah. Um, it wasn't so much a, a surprise as it was more a uh, feeling melancholy and feeling sad for the people of Saipan, especially um, the Rafalawash people of Saipan and especially the Rafalawash people of Tanakh by Um As we all know, um, especially in the Tanakh area, um, we've lost or practically lost our language. Um, the the, the Tanapag dialect or Carolinian dialect um, of Tanapag. Um, it was wonderful to be walking around the island of Satwal and hearing Carolinian language, you know, um, from little people all the way up to big old people. And it's like, wow, Carolinian is in the house. <laughs> Carolinian is spoken was... here. <laughs> and one of the more powerful experiences that um, I share with some of the crew members on the Hokulea was and this takes going back to Satwa uh, when we were on the island again as a young man growing up here on Saipan I've after I've um, after I've appreciated and after I've admitted to myself yes I'm Carolinian and there's no way in hell that I can be Chamorro or anything else otherwise <laughs> um, um, I, I wanted to, I, I went to the point of wanting to um, take away my westernized name and have a Carolinian name. And I've been asking and wanting for a Carolinian name. Um, I got it at this voyage and Papa Mao gave it to me. <laughs> I am so honored. <laughs> um, my Carolinian name is Yoniwa, which means um, a whale or group of whales. It's a navigational um, uh, location, a locator, or, or something like that. Um, while we were out outside of Guam on the way here, we saw three whales. I felt the whales came to say hi to me. <laughs> now this is people are gonna be they are gonna hear this and they're man this guy's freaking out <laughs> and this guy this guy's wacko. But I I really did feel that those whales came to to say hi to me. Um, and in my excitement and in my ignorance, being so young in in this whole adventure and in this. In this learning experience, um, many of the Saipan crew, Saipan men on the Hokulea, stood up and were so excited. I was one of those people. I was so excited. Well, whales, 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 <laughs> you know. And little did I appreciate uh, how dangerous it was. You know, yes, they were coming to say hello to me, but. They, they, they are also dangerous. They, they pose a threat to the well-being of the whole canoe, the crew members, in that they can easily just flip their tails and poop, off we go, off the canoes. Scrape the barnacles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lift you up out of the water. Yes. And there were three. There were three of these whales. They're, um, they're pilot whales. And they swam under the canoe, actually swam under the canoe, came out to the outrigger part of the canoe, actually swam under it for about probably 45 seconds to 60 seconds were under there and going with us. Um, and then they swam really fast forward, made a U-turn, came back and, and did that for about two or three times. I was standing there and in my mind, I was just going, wow. What, could this be true? <laughs> could this be true? <laughs> could they really be? Or am I freaking out here? <laughs> I know I was not. Um, other men in, in the, on the crew, on the Hokulea, saw the whales. And I, I, I feel so honored uh, 
I really do feel that the, the whales came to say hello to me. I shared this experience with Papa Mao on the island of Rota uh, when we went in. And he smiled at me and looked at me and he said, why didn't you go with them? They, they could have taken you to Saipan. Maybe I can do that on another voyage. At the, this particular voice, I, I don't have that courage yet. <laughs> maybe <laughs> next time I will. <laughs> could, you, could you maybe tell me something about what was going through your mind emotionally as, as all the canoes pulled into the beach that day? <laughs> wow. Um, it, it's, it's overwhelming. Overwhelming. <laughs> I mean, just the joy and the energy that could, you could just feel. What it reminded me very much of was many years ago when, although on a much smaller scale, when uh, Hokulea first came back to Hawaii right. or, after sailing, making the first trip to Tahiti, that emotion that the people had that were standing on shore it was just, and the pride, the pride in themselves. Yeah. Um, well, um, for me personally, it's like the circle has been completed.